Hey there good people, my name is Scott and you are watching Sword and Shield Studio. Right now we're going to learn how to keyframe your audio in the DaVinci Resolve Fairlight page. Doing this you can even out the general loudness of your dialogue clips, cut out unwanted sounds between sentences, and generally clean things up and make it ready for equalization, dynamics, and other effects too. This process will take care of anything that normalization may have missed in terms of loudness. So let's see how we can do it. Okay, so I'm on the Fairlight page in DaVinci Resolve now where I have a take of the introduction for another video that I shot. Before we make any modifications, let's listen back to this clip and identify what we should modify, if anything, with keyframes. Hey there good people, my name is Scott and you are watching Sword and Shield Studio. Right now we are going to learn how to normalize audio in DaVinci Resolve to keep the audio levels in your videos at a consistent level. Let's see how it's done. Okay, so it's a pretty good sounding recording without any modifications. However, there are just a few things we can do to improve it. The first thing I notice is there is a point where the audio is louder than the surrounding recording and rises into the red levels. We can identify this without playing the entire clip back by just looking at the waveforms you see right well, here yeah. where the playhead is. The waveform extends beyond the surrounding area and even beyond some of the louder points in the rest of the recording. So in order to correct this, we will bring down the peak of this waveform with a couple keyframes. There are two ways you can set keyframes in your audio. You could set them in the inspector at the top right of Resolve here. Can go to a point where you want to set a keyframe, say right here, and left click the diamond icon to the right of volume. Alternatively, you can hold Alt and left click the point on the timeline where you want to set a keyframe in your audio. I will set one right at the peak here. This is the method I prefer, as it tends to be quicker. So what we want to do here is set three keyframes around this point here to create a gradual audio adjustment that's unnoticeable. Every audio waveform in existence has a peak, or its loudest highest point, and troughs, the lowest quietest surrounding points. You want to identify these three points and set keyframes at them to get the most natural sounding volume adjustment. In my case, I believe those are at these three points. The first keyframe I set with the inspector, the middle one I set with Alt, and I will hold Alt and left click right here, which I believe is the other trough. Next, I'll hold left click over the center keyframe at that loud peak and just drag it down a bit. And if we play this back, let's see how it sounds and looks. The audio levels in your videos, great, does not go into the red and it sounds much more even with the surrounding loudness. And the volume adjustment we made is unnoticeable since it's so gradual. Another adjustment I would like to make to this recording is removing an audible breath towards the end of the intro here. I'll play that back for you now. Maybe difficult to hear. At a consistent level. Let's see. Right Ooh. here where I take a breath. I don't want to completely remove it and introduce complete silence because that doesn't exist in any recording. I just want to reduce it to make it less noticeable. So in order to do that, go to the beginning of the pause, zoom in, hold Alt and left click twice create two keyframes at the beginning of that pause and do the same thing for the end of the pause and then hold left click to get the two arrows here in the center of that pause and drag it down between negative eight and negative ten decibels typically works and if we play this back level 
Let's see how it's done. You see that breath is no longer there. It's no longer noticeable, but it's not unnaturally quiet uh, as though there's pure silence there either. That does it for this tutorial. I hope that by watching this video, you learn how to make fine adjustments to your audio by keyframing it and can imagine a couple different scenarios where you'd use these techniques. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel where I upload a video just like this one every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.